Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. Recently, I was migrating my website from Gatsby over to Next.js and I needed to reformat the date field in the front matter of all of my Markdown blog posts. And it was then that I found out that VS Code's find and replace feature is much more powerful than I previously thought. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here's my project. This is my website. I keep all of my blog posts in this content posts directory. And I've got a lot of them. I've got 63 and I needed to change this date field in the front matter to not have quotation marks. So I popped on over to the find and replace tab here. And first thing I did was say that I only want files inside of the content posts and then markdown files. So only markdown files in the content post directory. And I started searching. And when I typed out date, open quotes, and now I thought to myself, huh, how do I match on any date instead of just a single date? Well, this is where regular expressions come in. And VS Code find and replace supports regular expressions right here. Now let's go over to regexer. It's my favorite website to use to test regular expressions. And we'll type out our expression. So I want to match this date field. I can do date, colon, parentheses, but how do we get the date inside of these parentheses? I'm sorry, quotation marks. If we use this special character dot, which means any character except line breaks, and then this star that says match zero or more of the preceding token, this will just say grab a hunk of stuff in between these quotation marks. Now that's good, we've got our match, but what we really need to do is find a way to kind of grab this date out of this match. And regular expressions have this notion of capture groups. Anything that you surround in parentheses becomes a capture group. And now you can see that in the results, not only do we have a match, but we also have a capture group that is the date. So VS Code can actually utilize these capture groups when you're using the replace feature. So let's go back to VS Code. We'll leverage a capture group. And now we've got all of our matches. And inside of capture group number one is all of the dates. So if we want to replace this, we can go date. And then the way you reference capture groups is with a dollar sign. And because this is the first capture group, it's dollar sign one. And you'll notice now down here, instead of substituting dollar one, it actually uses the value from the capture group. So we essentially dropped the quotation marks from this date field. And now we can just hit replace all. And now every single one of my markdown posts has been formatted with the date the way I needed it to be. So thanks for watching this video. Give it a try. You might be able to do some really fancy find and replaces that you couldn't have before you were using that regex feature. This has been BG Codes, and I am Brad Garropy. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.